Today I will be introducing nominal level histograms. Technically, these are not histograms, they're referred to as column charts. At the nominal level we're working with categories. At the ratio level we'll have true histograms where we're working with numeric intervals. For both the nominal and ratio level, histograms are charts of the frequency for that particular category or interval. For today, we'll be working with the nominal level. I'm going to take something simple. At the nominal level, we're dealing with words. And the words I'm going to deal with today are colors. These flowers are orange. Over here, these flowers are purple. And so I'm going to roll through a series of flower colors, put them into a table inside Google Sheets, and show you how to make a a nominal level histogram for that data, although again in the world of statistics these are considered uh, column charts rather than true histograms which we'll meet tomorrow. Purple, pink, red, peach, pink, purple, white, pink, peach, yellow, orange, chartreuse, orange, pink, red, white, red, pink, white, orange, purple, white, red, white. I have entered the flower colors in the order in which I encountered the flowers. Purple, pink, red, peach, pink, purple, white, pink, and so forth. You might note that some of the words, uh, color words, repeat. I'm going to tap in A1, and I'm going to tap in plus, and I'm going to tap on chart at the bottom. You'll notice Google Sheets has automatically counted up the number of each color. I can see three purple, five pink, four red. Google Sheets has done that automatically. There's nothing I did to generate that. Google Sheets looked at the layout of my data, determined that row one was probably a label, placed that on the x-axis at the bottom and in the title at the top. It added a y-axis label, the count of the color. The Google Sheets refers to that as count. A statistician would call that the frequency. There are three purple flowers. The frequency of purple is three. I don't need the legend. That's redundant. And so I'll tap on legend, and I'll scroll down and tap on none and remove that. With that done, I can simply press check, and the chart will appear on my sheet. This is a nominal level histogram, considered a column chart in statistics because color is a categorical variable, a nominal level variable. These are categories, not numeric intervals. Nominal level histograms will not have a shape because the order in which the x-axis is arranged is essentially arbitrary. In this case, it was the order in which I encountered a particular color. One could put it alphabetical, or if one did enough rearranging of the data, one could get it into a Pareto chart format from tallest column to shortest column. But this is a fine nominal level histogram. You can create one too. You just go out and find something that's words, whether it's colors or some other word. Tally, write down the word each time it appears, and it will automatically generate this sort of chart for you. Google Sheets is unique in this capability. I haven't seen this particular capability in other spreadsheets, but Google Sheets takes a look at what you're doing and presumes that you want a nominal level histogram.